Yo, what's up guys, it's VG, and uh, today I'm showing you how to install Epic Bytes just on an installed car that has everything working. And to show you how everything works, I will go and test it right now. The uh, brake lights, headlights, high beams, gear rails, and opening doors with working interior lights. Yeah, all the works. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to install it all and just the basic process and how everything goes. So what you want to do once you get the model inserted into your place, you take the Epic Lights V3 Beta 2 frame right here and put in the plugins. Now, what you want to do right away is you go into the config. Now, this is where you can change all your settings. This local script right here is where you can change everything on here. Trunk lights, plate lights, interior lights, door functionality, everything here. If it says not working yet, then don't use it. Down here is your light type, or light color. <laughs> uh, this is where you could change the color preset, and here are all your presets for your headlights. You have these presets, and your indicators, you have these presets. But if you do want to use a custom color, you just go like this. You type color 3 from RGB, and then you type in the red, green, blue value, which is like, say, 100, uh, 50, uh, 80. Then you go in game. And it should be it should be the color that you want. Yeah, see, perfect. That's how you get you. Then I've seen many people asking questions and how you would get custom colors, and this is how you do it. Um, now after this, go down to your settings down here. Now you have your brightnesses. You can change these to be whatever you want. Just be just be warned, don't make them too bright, because each each light brick emits one light. So if you want to turn them down, turn them down. If you want to turn them up, turn them up. You just don't make sure that make sure that they don't get too bright. Now here's where you change your headlights. LEDs do work now. I fixed them. So if you want to change them to LEDs, there you go. And custom DRLs work now as well. And you can change the, the custom DRL type. Change them either LED or halogen, whatever you want to do. And fade time, indicator flash rate, you go in the pop-up hinge angle, you already know it. And if you want to change your indicator stack sounds and your click sounds, you just insert your sound ID here. Key binds as well, and this is where you would stop, because you do not touch this section of the code. Alright, now let's get into how you set this up. After you get that script in there, you want to go into your body, put the lights model in there, then start getting your meshes ready. Now, by getting your meshes ready, I mean saying, go into high, right here, right? So we have two LNs right here. Let me drag these up. These LNs right here are duplicates of your mesh that you that you want to make sure and make your light part. So these two meshes right here are the duplicates of these static meshes down here. By static, I mean meshes like these, like these right here that aren't named LN or L. These will stay on all the time, so these these will overlap and get on to the static mesh. That's how my light script works. So LN for the for the neon part, and then L these L bricks will come with the cut will come with the plugin. And um, these little arrows they represent the direction of light. So if it goes this way, the light will come out this way, this way, etc., etc. And so running lights, obviously you just, you just put your uh, one LN in there, and that's about it. Make sure it doesn't have surface appearance on it, or else it will, um, the neon will not work. Now for interior lights, what you want to do, you might have seen it before, but you go into config, and you enable interior lights right here. Now if you also have opening doors, you can also go and put door functionality as true. Now what that will do will is now what you have to do to make that work is you go down here, go all the way down to your doors right here. Now this this bindable event will come with the script, will come with the plugin. 
So just put this in your door and make sure your doors are named FL, FR, RL, and RR. So those are the only those are the only doors that will work with this. And then what you want to do for the interior is put the interior triggers mono in there, and then it should have all this stuff in there already. Um, now for the actual light setup, let's go into the interior, and here's you got your CLN right here. This is for the center light, you know the big the big center one in the middle, and but you have to name that CLN for that one to work. Now for your front, not for your front LN, you can name these FLN or front LN. So then now your lights, these two are the front L's. These are spotlights, so you have to angle them wherever they want, wherever you want them to point. And now for the center L, this is a point light, so you just put it right where you want it to shine. And that's about that's all it really is. And gauge backlight will come in a future update, probably full release. But you know, I have a separate tutorial on how to do this. If you guys want to, just let me know. Moving on, we got, uh, what else? Alright, sorry about that. I just had to get my things straight. And now we will go on to setting up pop-ups right here. So I know this looks weird, but this was a test car. And, you know, uh, testing is, testing cars are testing cars. But now what you got to do is put your pop-ups model, which will be provided. Now keep your parts right here. So these will be your parts that will stay with it. And right here is your LN. Headlights. So, what you want to do for headlights, don't put high and low in there. I always see people doing this, and they say, why do my pop-up lights don't work? And this is a simple fix, just don't put high and low in there. It will work in the original model, too. I have tested that, and it should work within the original model. But, after you've done that, <clears throat> go into Misk Weld. Uh, Misk Weld in here. And, po and paste the lines of code that are in Instructions. These should weld your pop-ups. If you've ever used Miss Weld before, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, that's about. And then after that, you want to go in your config and set pop-ups enabled to true. And for tr and trunk lights and plate lights are and trunk lights are basically the same thing. You just put the trunk model that I provided in here, and make sure you put body and TK, and then in body. Well, it could be confusing. Body, you put these, you put your motor script that I will provide in there with you. Or if you already have a trunk in there, just make sure you name it TK. And you put the TK hinge in the body as well. And then after that, you want to have make sure that the trunk model has brake, rear, and reverse. Indicators will be added soon. Just not in this update. And obviously brake, rear, and reverse all in here. And they should work. And then after that, you go in the config right here. And you set trunk lights to true. Now just let me test and see if they work. Yep, and as and as I've seen, it works perfectly. Turn reverse. There you go. You can change the light types of these as well. It'll just work symbiotically with the rear lights as well. Um, pop-ups, see, you pop them up, and your lights turn on whenever you press H, they will work symbiotically with these lights as well. <coughs> and, yeah. And then the last thing to do is plate lights. Now, plate lights, for like here, you can either use a mesh part or use two base parts like this. Uh, let me go find the model. This 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 test car had an older version, so if you see some stuff missing from the R from the R33 over there, that's because this I never messed around with this car after I got the R33. But these two LNs right here will stay visible. But if you want to put a static mesh and a mesh part, it should work as well. But then your L bricks are also the same bricks because these these plate lights they use surface appearance. No, they don't use surface appearance. Surface lights. My bad. But once you turn on the lights, they should pop up, right? Uh, yeah, well, just like that. Surface lights right there, and they will work with mesh parts as well, but I'm not sure how well it would work. Just make sure that you're, the bottom of your part is facing um, the bottom because it goes off the bottom face of the car. 
and yeah, that seems to wrap up, um, that seems to wrap up, um, setting up Epic Lights V3 Beta 2. And if you guys have any questions, remember to hit the hashtag support channel in the, in the Discord, which I will link in the description of the video. And as always, see you guys next time.